I've always wanted to have a praying mantis as a pet, and at age 31, I finally have one. This is a giant Asian mantis known as Herodula membranicae, and it's absolutely stunning. Today, I'm going to make it a home, but it's not going to be a typical terrarium. Instead, I'll be constructing this enclosure that has specifically been designed for a mantis. It has good sized vents at the top and sides to allow good airflow, and has a front opening door, which will enable easy access to the inside of the enclosure. I'd like to send a huge thank you to Mitch from Unseen Universe for sending me this giant Asian mantis and enclosure. If you're interested in inverts, then you should definitely check out his social pages. Links are in my description. Males reach a size of seven to eight centimeters and females eight to nine centimeters. This species comes from Southeast Asia and likes a humidity range of between 60 to 70%. Of course, this will fluctuate, but that's the general aim. The mantis is a good hunter, but it's important the prey doesn't have too many places to hide. So I need to consider this when scaping the enclosure. Because we have a range of 60 to 70% humidity, I'll be choosing suitable plants for this range. I plan to keep the hardscape elements simple, so I'll just use a single piece of grape wood at the back. This will prevent the mantis's prey from hiding. Let's make this mantis a terrarium. The enclosure is simple to construct, kind of like bric-a-brac that's held together with bands. It is stronger than it looks. I have to make this look nice, so adding some grape wood at the back will keep this natural looking. As I mentioned earlier, I'm keeping this as minimal as possible to prevent the prey from hiding. Now, I'm adding the drainage and substrate which was provided to me by Soil Ninja. I'm using their semi-hydro mix as drainage, which would work equally well as the substrate, but I want something that will hold onto moisture a little more for the plant cuttings. This is a high quality substrate that will be perfect for any terrarium. Now I'm adding in my plants and once again I'm keeping it minimal to minimise the chance of the prey hiding. Mantis has a home, but there is one thing missing. It doesn't have a name. It's a female, so let me know what you think it should be called and I'll pick my favorite. 
And while you're here, I'd like to invite you to join my beginner-friendly Facebook discussion group and Discord channel. Both links are in the description below. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.